Hello, welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over how to connect a siren and an additional strobe light to your panel on a 3200, 9600, or 255. So what will happen is the siren will go off and if it times out for whatever reason and no one shows up, you still have the strobe light flashing to let the authorities know where the location is. So first we go into our software. I'm going to do this on a 255. Like I said, it could be done on a 3296 or 255 through the auxiliary relay. It could also be done on a 1632, 816, 1664 through a PGM output. So today we're going to do the 255. So open up the account. All right, first we have to go into each zone type and we have to add the auxiliary output to each zone type. So if we click on the zone type, we're just going to select auxiliary output. Okay, you notice that now it becomes a use defined zone. I'm going to change that to a custom label. So if I go into here and I do create, I can do an exit entry zone with a uh, siren and a strobe. And then I can hit apply okay and then apply and it will change that and now if you go to another job and you want to do the same thing any of these custom zone labels that you create are going to be in your system so now we would just do it for the exit entry zone I mean for the exit entry follower zone do the same thing go in there and do the auxiliary output we can do create and I can just label that a follower. Follower, strobe, and siren. Hit OK. Then apply. We just continue on our, all our zones. And once you get into here, if you notice that all these zones are pretty much the same, a little shortcut is if you go into your right lower corner, it will make your pointer into an X. You just left click and you drag and drop. Or you can continue with each individual one. I'm going to go into my two wire, do the same thing. Okay, so now we have all those selected for the siren and the auxiliary output. So now what we have to do is go into your system tab and make sure that your time selection for your auxiliary output right here is selected for zero. And what that's going to do is if the sirens go off, if the system goes off and the siren goes off, and for some reason they don't make it there in 16 minutes, Okay, the auxiliary output will still continue until someone goes in there and resets it. Also, what we have to do is go into your A1 controls, go into your arm area disarm silencing options, and you want to make sure that you have your area selected for there. And since we have fire, we have the Berg output, so that's all good. And then hit OK. Now on your connections on your panel what you're going to do is you're going to hook up your siren to your normal connections so your siren is going to be on 5 which would be the positive and then your negative 12 volts and then your strobe will get hooked up to terminal 8 okay because that has 12 volts going to a 2 Terminal 8 as the positive, and the negative would be your auxiliary negative output. Okay, terminal 14, right down here. 
And that's pretty much it. Thanks for stopping by Video Tick Tips. And have a good day.